So there's this game called Snowbreak Containment Zone, and there's news coming out that apparently English voice actors who were hired to do a dub of this game have found the game to be too offensive because of fan service. And now it sounds like the game devs, who are also the publishers for this one, now they're scrapping the entire English dub. And already a bunch of people online are celebrating this news, buying the game and also giving it positive reviews, once again proving how so many people have a great distaste towards the English dub industry. And as time goes on, we're only seeing more and more people feeling that way too. There's also this great hypocrisy because so many times we've seen people who complain about fan service actually being like the most degenerated people out there. These types of people also tend to like calling others porn addicts. It's like a trendy thing to say on Twitter. But then you see these people's likes and their profiles and often the people accusing others of being porn addicts are in fact the addicts themselves. They're just in denial about it and massively hypocritical about it. It's like that dude months back who was complaining about fan service in Xenoblade. And then people found out that this dude was a convicted chomo, pulled up the papers and everything. Now going back to this current news with the dub VAs and all that, let's check out this official statement on Discord from Snowbreak Containment Zone. Quick statement from official SCZ. Any questions regarding about the future of the English voiceover in the game? CSUN attempted to contact the voice actors to restore the English voiceover in the game due to the current improvement state of SCZ. However, they refused because the game has changed its direction to fan service. So at the moment, there is no plan of getting the EN dub back. Thanks for understanding. And you pretty much already know what I think about this, given what I said earlier in this video, you know, moments ago. It's a pretty short video. So I'm not going to repeat all that here. It would be uh, pointless and a waste of time. But let me know what you think about this in the comments. Lastly, if you're interested in trying this game out, I believe you can find it over on Steam, on Android, and iOS. Thanks for tuning in, I'll leave it there. As always, appreciate you and your time. Consider liking and or subscribing if you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the next video.